Hello the internet, welcome to day one of the Powell Couple vlog. This is how to fix your windshield wiper blade. If you're actually here for the how to, uh, jump forward, I'll put the timestamp on the screen somewhere. Thank you for checking out this vlog. Thank you for being here. This is where Kat, my wife, and I are putting out our adventures. Why did we go with daily and why is this day one? Well, yesterday we committed to that and some of that is me pushing for it because we were already shooting some stuff and my hard drive was getting backed up with footage and the how-to that you're about to watch if you're still listening to this portion is actually from like two weekends ago when we decided to finally replace a broken windshield wiper. But anyway, Check out the how-to. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you're just joining this journey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click, punch, kick, press, smash, if you're a Peter McKinnon fan, that bell so that you actually get updates about our channel. And thanks for being here for as long as you have been. Catherine, what is wrong with this picture? I'm not out there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This thing, right? Here. There it goes again. Oh, oh, um, you know. One more time. <laughs> What's that? What is wrong with that? It needs, it needs a new one. Exactly. It's been like oh. that for a few months. I yeah. just thought it was kind of, it gave it character as you need. Mm, right. So, have you ever replaced a windshield wiper on your car? I don't think I'm going to. We are in our local Walmart. Uh, if you come into the store, there is a guide that has your car and what type of windshield wiper blade you should pick up. So you just look through the guide, find your car make and model, but then you also need to make sure that you're looking for the actual brand of windshield wiper blade and then all the sizes are listed below. So if you just look at the column and go, oh, it says 17 inch blade for my passenger side, that might be the wrong brand if you're not making sure that it matches up. Uh, your car may have the same size blade for both driver and passenger side, but with Cat's CRB, the driver's side is something like a 20, 26. 26 inch blade, whereas the driver's side is a 14 Seven. inch, 17 inch blade. <laughs> well, that one's, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, a 17 yeah. inch blade, 17 inch blade. The back of the windshield wiper has instructions on how to put it on and take it off but uh, we'll walk through that real quick. So when you open the package, the windshield wiper has a little blade here, close to the same size. This one's actually smaller than the, uh, than the other one. That's interesting. Whenever looking for any part, always double check that you are picking up the right one. So we picked this up because it is R14B, but down at the bottom it says rear wiper blade. And that is not what we needed. We got out to the parking lot. We're gonna go ahead and change it here and realize that this doesn't fit. It's not the right attachment. There's not everything in the box. It's because we grabbed a rear and we needed a passenger wiper blade. So make sure that you are also checking the name on the package, not just the number for what you want. So in the process of starting out needing to change out your windshield wiper blades, you should, uh, it's always a smart move to actually bring the broken or old blade inside with you. We were dumb and did not do that. In reading the chart, shooting a video, and trying to find a blade, ended up not realizing that what I had looked at was a rear wiper blade when I suggested what number cat should grab off the shelf. Now we have the right one, and this one is, as I said before, has instructions on the back of it. This is a small hook, so the adapter here should just slide in. We picked up the Rain-X windshield wiper blade, which has a lock on there. For this specific one, you'll want to move your adapter open so that you can slide past both the lock and the adapter. Line up, slide in the hole, get the adapter in there, then pull it all the way up so you can lock it back down and slide back to lock closed. Take it off, and your new blade's ready to go. Bye. 